We have a beautiful blue F3 power chair. F3 stands for, for front wheel drive. F3 power chair. This is a gorgeous chair. This chair only has 28 miles. It was used for maybe two months. It has gel arms. It has all kinds of goodies on here. This chair has five electrical function. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric leg, and it also has a little bit of an interior tilt where it tilts forward. So if you want to use any of the functions, you can do it through the joysticks or through the switch box. I like to use the switch box. It's a little quicker for me. So I'm going to pull the first button back or forward. There we go. So these go forward. You'll see the seat start elevating. You're going to start roughly at 22 inches when you're down. And by the time you're all the way up, you're going to be at 34 inches. So you'll be eye level talking to someone. The benefit of the seat lift is also you can stop a little bit when you're up four or five inches. It helps you get out because you're almost standing if the seat is elevated. Also with this, you can do your dishes. You can reach the second cabinets. There's all kinds of benefit with the seat elevation. The nice thing about this chair, when the seat's elevated, you can still drive the chair. I don't want to have a lot of room in here, but you can see the chair moving at a decent speed with the seat elevated. Okay? These are the top of the line power chairs. These power chairs are they're made, they're, they're very well constructed. This is the probably the, the highest quality you can get. So you can see it's a front wheel drive, 14-inch wheel. They will not mark your floor. You have 8 inch caster wheels in the back. You can see the suspension for the back and the same suspension for the front. So you have a shock here. You can see the shock moving right there. It's a little dusty. Shock here, another shock. You have four of these all around this chair. So this chair weighs about 425 pounds. So this chair is so heavy with these four shocks and the weight of the user, you're going to have a really nice, nice ride. Okay? There's, there's an anchor point here to tie your chair down. There's another one back here. There's two on this side, two on the opposite side. So you have four anchor points. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to hold it down on your lift on your transport in your van. There's a motor right here. You can't see because it's behind this fender, but there's a motor that goes this way directly to the middle of the oven. As a matter of fact, this is the end of the motor right here. If I want to push this chair, well, you can see it weighs 425 pounds and it's not pushable. If you had an issue with the chair, you forgot to charge the chair, the batteries are dead, you need to roll it. What you would do is make sure the power is off because you want no power, you want no resistance in the motor. Power off, take this lever, push it down. What that does, it unlocks your wheel. So you have to do both motors on both sides and you can roll it around. Very easy, okay? When you're done and you have it in neutral, forget, don't forget, put it back in gear and then you can turn your power back on. You can see the armature here for the seat lift. The actuator is actually right here for the seat lift. You can see how nice and clean it is. Just a very nice power chair. So we're gonna turn the power back on and we're gonna bring the seat back down. This chair also has what's called a swing away joystick. So if you get to a table and you wanna get really close to a table, you can take that whole joystick that's here and put it right here and get real close to a dining table. If you're left-handed, we can put all this on the left side and it'll swing to the left side, okay? This is called a swing away joystick. The second feature I want to share is called the electric tilt. The tilt is when the base right here, this portion right here, when this base goes back, it's going to take the legs, it's going to take the back as they're all connected together. Now, the tilting function is good for circulation. It's also good for taking pressure off your bottom taking pressure off your back or just sleeping and relaxing and getting some circulation. Uh, the next thing I want to show the legs. So if you're five feet tall or six foot three, we can adjust these longer. All these chairs are fully adjustable to your height and weight. So if you really want some good circulation, this would be extreme, but I want to show the extreme position. There you go. But if you're halfway tilted, so if we bring the chair down to halfway, let's just say right here, for example. Well, right here, your feet are still higher than your body, okay? So I'm gonna bring the tilt all the way back down. So, so far we've covered the electric legs, the electric tilt, the 12 inch seat lift. Another thing you have on this chair is called the electric recline. 
You see the back going back by itself? Nothing's moving but the back. That's called the electric recline. So we'll see how far back this one goes. Also on this chair, notice you have pads here. These are elbow pads. That's custom. That's usually not on these chairs. There's a couple of things on this chair that's usually it's custom also. So this is what it would look like. This is as far as you will go if you were laying flat in this chair. Okay? I'm going to bring the back back up. I'm going to bring the legs back. I'm doing two buttons at once. The legs are coming down. The back is coming up. So I'm doing two functions at once. If you want to do that, the same function with one button, you can do it through the joystick. When you're outside, leave those legs out a little bit. It gives you more room under the foot plate in case you have a sidewalk or something that's not level. All right, so so far we've done four electrical functions. The last one left is where the seat tilts forward. So let's just see if we can get that going. So if you look at the bottom, if you look right here, you'll see the back going up. Right here, see it? So look at that. This is called an interior tilt, okay? So if you needed some help getting out, you could bring your legs all the way in. Let me show you. Like this. This will help you get out, and if that's not enough, you could, you could raise the seat up like this. So if you were here, I'm six foot tall, by the time you put your feet, you're standing. Okay, so that's just a good example to show you what those two things will do for a person who cannot get out of their chairs, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring the seat lift back down. Now I'm gonna bring the, the anterior tilt back down. You can see it going down right here. Folks, this is just, this is just an incredible, incredible, incredible chair. So let's look at the front of it. You have calf pads here. You have lateral. Let me move this arm up. So the arms go up, as you can see, okay? So if you transfer from the side, you would remove these pads right here. You can transfer from the side if you transfer from the side. These lateral pads right here, what they do is they keep your knees on the foot plate. Well, I'm sorry. They keep your feet on the foot plate. They keep your knees from buckling out and hitting a door or something like that. These can be moved in. They can be moved out. They can move back and forth. They can be adjusted here. There's tons of adjustments. These are lateral knee pads, okay? The cushion on here is 18 by 20, but whatever size you need, we can get that for you. You have a uh, safety belt. This one also has a chest guard, okay? So if you have a person who needs to be kept in, this can be adjusted so your chest doesn't move forward, or we can remove it if you don't need it. Okay, you have the extra large, you have the extra large headrest. This is a custom headrest. We put the seat down. So this headrest right here, I just looked at it. It's sitting this way, but it can be put all the way up. You can go like this. There's adjustments in the back of the headrest. You probably don't want to see all that, but I'll show you. There's a, there's a, there's an adjustment here and here to make the headrest. So if you have someone who can't keep their head in the middle of the headrest, this will keep their head in the middle. You just need to shut it more. They also, with this chair, we've got, we have, these are 18 inch, most of them are 16 inch. These are 18 inch extra long. These are all gel, folks. These are gel arms. These are the real extensive arms. So let's see if there's anything else on this chair. Okay, let's look at the back of the chair. Well, you have the elbow pad, which I mentioned earlier. So if you, if you tilt the seat back or you raise the arm and you tilt and your arm is not gonna fall off because you have custom elbow pads. As I said, the headrest is adjustable here, but it's also fully adjustable forward, backward, up and down, okay? In the back of this chair, when we ship these chairs, when we shift these chairs, we turn the power off. Right in here, there's a reflector. If you look at the top reflector, inside of here, you'll see a hand. As a matter of fact, I just turned the power off. No more power. So when you get your chair, go right here, flip the switch. It's kind of hard. There we go. And then turn your power back on up front. Wait about three seconds. 
and you're back in business. When you charge this chair, you take your you take your charger, sorry about that folks. You take your chrome bill charger, see if I can do this right. Plug it right here below the joystick, and as soon as the light goes to 100 percent the batteries are full, the charger will stop charging. Okay? So this chair has a total distance, travel distance of about 15 miles on a battery charge. Folks, that all depends. If you're outside, you're going uphill, you're going six miles an hour, you're going to the grass, you're not going to get 15 miles. Okay? It all depends on the user, it depends on how you drive your chair, how many of the functions you use on your chair, because this is a lot of function. But if you use it normally, you don't use a lot of the function, and you're outside on a flat surface, you'll be able to get between 10 and 15 miles with no problem. Okay? So let's recap. This is a Permobil F3, F for front wheel drive. Very good outside, and it's also very good for in the house, as you can see. Here's how it looked like if you turn in your room. So if you had this in your house, that's what it looked like. So I'm turning inside of a four foot radius here. So if I was to go one, two, three, four, it turns inside of that with no problem. Okay? So let's look at it over here. So this is the Permobil F3 power chair, 28 miles total mileage. It has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric lag, the interior tilt of tilt two forward. It has the 18 inch gel arms, it has the elbow pad, it has a swing away joystick, the lateral knee pad, the chest guard, the safety belt. It has the adjustable headrest. This is a custom headrest, also custom elbow pads. Just a gorgeous power chair. If you want to have the best there is, the highest quality there is, you want to have all the comforts that you can get, this is one of them, the many of the chairs I have. So this is the Permobil F3 Blue, top speed, six miles an hour. Really, really smooth power chair, very easy to drive, very smooth. And when you let go, it stops automatically because it has electromagnetic brakes. These chairs are so quiet, unless I run over an acorn, you can't hear the chair. So this chair has a seat lift also. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the seat lift up now. So the seat lift will start at 22, you'll be at 34, and you'll still be able to drive. So this is the, the F3 with the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric feet, the interior tilt, the lateral knee pad, the gel pad, the elbow pads, the knee pads. I can go on and on and on. I think we're all the way up. Yep. So you can see what it looks like when you're all the way raised up driving the chair. So it'll go up to three miles an hour with the seat elevated, right up to three miles an hour with the seat elevated. So if you're looking for a power chair with fully loaded, you can still drive it at three miles an hour. Now if you're going to drive with the seat elevated, I know some of you, are going to, you know what I'm going to say, please, not in the backyard, okay? Anywhere that's flat, just take care of the chair, it'll last you a long time. So this is the F3, this one has 28 miles, used maybe a couple months at the most. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.